This is my most recent project. It's an old vending machine that I tore out all the electronics from and I completely rebuilt it. Now it looks like this. Now, if you're familiar with these machines, you might be wondering where the selections and locks have gone, and you are correct, they are gone. Instead, everything is controlled from a web interface, including the locking mechanism, as I'll show you. By going to the admin interface on the website I made, I can open or close the machine. And we are in. This is the magazine for all the selections with the vending rotors, position sensors and the soda chute. Now these mechanics are all original. What's new is on the other side of this door. Here there used to be two old fluorescent tubes uh, and I changed them out for these uh, LED strips that are adjustable. The front glass have been sanded and gives a really nice frosted effect with these uh, LED animations behind. Moving over to the electronics, a 5 volt supply for the Raspberry Pi and Arduino and also a 12 volt supply for the LEDs and this relay board that actuates the fans, compressor, rotors and the 3D printed new locking mechanism. Furthermore, we got an Arduino Mega reading all the sensors, controlling the relay board and handling the vending functions. As the communication interface, we have a Raspberry Pi 4 communicating with the web server over the internet and the Arduino via USB serial. Now to actually purchase something from this vending machine, you'll have to go to the Norwegian equivalent name of GiveMeSoda.com. Here I've integrated a Nordic mobile payment solution using your phone number. Uh, you'll type in your phone number and then you select what's available. When you select a product, the mobile payment prompts you to approve. When you approve this, the web server will send a message to the Raspberry Pi. The Pi sends a vent command for the corresponding slot. The Arduino turns the relay on. The motor turns the rotor until the encoder wheel hits the next position. The soda dispenses and then the Arduino turns off the relay. Then the Arduino tells the Raspberry Pi that it was a successful vend and the Raspberry Pi reports back to the web server that the task is complete. You might be thinking, this seems like a complicated way to buy a soda and you'd be right. I designed it this way because I wanted to learn web design and integrate a API payment solution with a physical delivery system. It's probably more complex than a typical vending machine setup, but it was a great learning experience. Surprisingly, integrating a payment solution was quite straightforward. I created a one-person company for free, registered with the VIPS payment solution and got a well-documented API that was quick and easy to set up. Finding a simple unmanned payment terminal with REST API was challenging, so I opted for an online payment instead. Now, this project was a massive undertaking, and I spent a lot of time learning web design to make it work. When I can't see the purpose behind learning something, my motivation drops. But just by doing a project, you'll learn so much along the way, and it's incredibly rewarding to see the final product. If you'd like to follow along, I'm going to show you how the whole system is tied together, and then you armchair system engineers can wreak havoc in the comments section. There's a cloud VPS server running a Node.js backend. The same VPS also runs a MongoDB database to store data. In the vending machine, there's a Raspberry Pi running a Node.js client that communicates with the backend using WebSockets. As long as the vending machine has internet, it stays connected to the cloud server for two-way communication. The Raspberry Pi Node.js client sends a command to the Arduino Mega via USB serial interface. Here's how a complete purchase work. You visit the webshop, 
The Node.js backend sends you the frontend application. The frontend asks the backend which machines are available. The backend checks the MongoDB database for available machines and sends the results back. The frontend displays the available machines. When you select a machine, you input your phone number and the frontend sends you a request to the backend with the selected machine and phone number. The backend checks the database for available items in the selected machine and it discounts for the phone number and calculates the prices. The request returns to the front end displaying the items with user specific prices. When you select an item, a WebSocket connection is created from the front end to the back end with the purchase details. The back end verifies availability, discounts, price, and slots with the database, creates a new order, and reserves the item. The back end sends a request to the Norwegian VIPs payment solution with the price and customer details and informs the front end that it's waiting for payment. VIPs then contacts the user for payment approval. Upon user approval, VIPs returns a response to the backend, which then sends a vend command to the Raspberry Pi node client in the vending machine using WebSockets. The Raspberry Pi node client sends the vending command to the Arduino, which activates the correct rotor. When the rotor hits the stop position, the Arduino turns the re relay off and sends a success message to the Raspberry Pi node client, which then responds back to the node backend server. The node server captures the payment with VIPs and informs the user that the vending was successful. And if everything goes well, the user gets their soda and I get my money. Believe it or not, this is just a simple overview of the process. It doesn't cover all the database updates, front-end feedback, error checking, refunds, admin interface or authentication. But anyways, this project was a fun and challenging journey that gave me valuable insights into web development and payment solutions. Although this project isn't 100% complete, particularly the admin interface and a few other features, I'm ready to shelve this and move on to new projects. Thanks for watching.